Hey guys, it's Dr. J here, ready to take your first steps into the exciting world of web development. Join me in this series of videos and learn how to create your first web page using HTML. We will style it with some CSS and add some interactivity with JavaScript. Let's get started. The video series has been designed for a group of beginner first year students, and it aims to provide some very basic introduction to web development. Uh, for a more detailed explanation uh, on this topic, uh, I will be referring you to W3 Schools, which is an extremely useful website for uh, a more complete understanding of this topic. In order for us to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, it's essential for us to use some type of a tool during this coding process. And there are many tools out there that can be used. Uh, for example, the most basic uh, tool that can be used is Notepad, uh, which you can find on your computer. If you want something a little more advanced, you could make use of Visual Studio Code, or you could make use of online editors. For the purpose of these videos, I will be making use of an online editor, and this online editor is called Code Pen. In order to get a better understanding of how to use this particular tool for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, Let's jump into Chrome, and I will give you an idea of how to make use of this tool. So in order to go to CodePen, we're going to type in our browser, I'm using Chrome, we're going to use, we're going to type codepen.io, and that brings us to this landing page. Um, and on this page, you will notice you could start coding immediately. I don't recommend that you start coding immediately uh, as you will not be able to save your projects. My advice is that you first sign up. Sign up is free. Uh, once you've signed up, you can then log in. And once you've logged in, you now have uh, a workspace and all your projects are saved on this workspace. So everything in CodePen is in the form of a pen. Uh, so when you create a project, a new project, you're creating a new pen. When you're searching for projects, you are searching for pens. Um, the interesting thing is that you can search for projects on specific topics. And this could be a nice way in which you can learn, see other developers code, and you can pick up many useful um, ways of designing your, your web page. So let's get straight into the start coding. This is the environment that we have. Uh, there's essentially four parts. The first one is for your HTML. Then you've got your CSS, your window for your JavaScript. And at the bottom, uh, this is your live output. For example, uh, if I had to type uh, an H1 tag to say, hello world, uh, and then I close that tag, as I type my HTML at the bottom in real time, um, the, the web page starts developing. Similarly, if I start writing CSS, you will see the styles that it takes on at the bottom. Um, we have different layouts, so you could select a different type of a layout. Uh, it's left up to your preference. For now, I'll just keep it on the default layout. Uh, you can give your project a title. You can type in some name. Uh, as I indicated, uh, at this stage, we cannot save because we have not, uh, I've not signed in. So it's important that you sign in and you can then um, save your work. 
So these, uh, they are, so you can take a look at the settings and you know some of the other features that it has. For now, these are the basic things that I wanted to uh, introduce you to. In subsequent videos, I will show you uh, how to make use of writing very basic HTML statements. And thereafter, we will start styling those um, uh, the lines of text that we write in our HTML. Until then, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.